Hey everyone, this is Rico with Two Shanty Barbecue. We're doing bacon wrapped lollipop drumsticks for today's video. Everyone, please have a great day and stay safe and enjoy. Here we go. We are using our Rhineland Cutlery USA knives. We're using our chef knife and our boning knife. We are turning these drumsticks into lollipop drumsticks, so please enjoy. In this slide, we're using Oak Ridge Game Changer brine. It is one cup to four quarts of water, which is our ratio that we use and we use it very often. Then we're marinating it for four hours and putting it in the refrigerator for those four hours. Right here, we're lighting our Gateway Drum Smoker Basket with Better Wood Products Lump Charcoal, our go-to lump, and everyone should go try it out. Now we're dropping in our basket into our cooker. After the four hour mark, we pull our chicken and brine out of the refrigerator and then we pull our chicken out of the brine and pat dry so we can take all the excess moisture off the skin but we imparted all the flavor inside the meat. The first rub we're using for our bacon wrapped chicken lollipops is the Judge Barbecue Superstore rub that we just put only on the meat and that is all we do this to both sides now what we did is we pulled the skins down so they're covering up the meat in the first layer rub now we're putting on a top coating of Dominator Rub by Oak Ridge Barbecue to both sides of the chicken and covering it with a medium to light coat. The next step in this process is we take our drumsticks and our regular cut bacon and wrap it up nice and tight so it looks like a little chicken pillow. This will impart a next layer of flavor that we add to our meat and we have to say we love bacon. Bacon goes good on everything that you do, even works on desserts too. Let's see how it looks on this bacon wrapped lollipop drumstick. Now 
Now we are sprinkling on Oak Ridge Dominator Rub and Simply Marvelous. We are also adding some duck fat spray to the mix as well. Right now, our Gateway Drum Smoker is sitting right at 300 degrees. We're adding two chunks of apple wood and a handful of pecan chips into the fire basket with our Better Wood Products Lump Charcoal. Adding some Oak Ridge Dominator on some of the spots that I missed from when we previously put rub on. Placing our chicken on our Gateway Drum Smoker Rotating every 15 minutes and should be ready to wrap in about 45. The replica we use is one stick of unsalted butter, a half a cup of brown sugar, a fourth of a cup of sriracha, and a fourth of a cup of honey. We heat this until all ingredients have melted and combined together. Holy cow, do those look beautiful? I think they really do. That is 45 minutes in on the cooking process, which is about an hour and 35 minutes altogether. We're pulling them out. The tin pans have a little bit of rub, a little bit of honey, a little bit of sriracha sauce. And then we'll top that with the wrap liquid that we used. Just a light coating over each piece and we'll wrap it up in tin foil. We'll put it back on the smoker, which will be up for about another half an hour cook time. Ooh, nice little drizzle. So it's right about three fourths of a cup to a pan of liquid. Placing the chicken back on the smoker at 300 degrees for 30 minutes or until it reaches internal temperature of 180 degrees. At the 30 minute mark, we uncover the pan of chicken to check the temperature. It's reading about 181 degrees, so time to pull it off and let rest for about 10 minutes before we sauce it up. We're using Smokin' Hogs Championship Blend Barbecue Sauce as our glaze today for our chicken. Once all the chicken is sauced, we'll put back on the smoker at 300 degrees with a handful of pecan shaving wood chips for about five to 10 minutes until they have the color we are looking for and the sauce is tacked up nicely. After the five to 10 minutes, the sauce is set and now time for us to take out, let it rest for about 10 minutes before we enjoy. Adding just a little bit more sauce to top off the chicken and to make the plating look perfect. We have to say, this was so delicious to make today. In conclusion of today's cook, I have to say, it was one of the best cooks of our life and we're happy to use all the products we use today.